fuck. I gotta do this one now? Well, guess I might as well, because there's a new Rambo movie coming out. Back in the 80s, Rambo was the shit, but the NES game was just plain shit. Well, it's based off of Rambo First Blood Part 2, rather than the first one. I guess making a game where you go around killing cops probably wasn't in their best interest. It begins with the colonel visiting Rambo in prison and making him a deal. Go rescue prisoners in Vietnam and you're free. But you have a choice. I'm not afraid of death or I feel better in prison. Hmm. How about I feel better in prison? But it's up to you. The game doesn't start until you say yes. What's the point of having an option then? I'm saying leave me the fuck in prison, but then again, I might as well not even put the game in if I'm gonna say no. That's like in the movie if he would have said, John, the movie can't continue till you say yes. So the game begins, you're just walking around the hangar, talking to people. Rambo looks like some shirtless guy wearing red spandex. So you just walk around, talk to this person, talk to that person, then finally go to the colonel one last time where he says, you've got 36 hours to get in, complete your assignment, and get the hell out. The first swear I recall from a video game. Then the plane drops you off and the action finally begins. You spend most of your time just killing snakes, bugs, and other small animals with a knife. It's actually a complete clone of Zelda 2. Yeah, that's right, that's the flying sword, or knife in this case, the numbers that appear when you kill the enemies, the way you talk to people, dark caves which require a lantern to light the way, and overall the layout is similar. Now, speaking of the knife, that's one of the most disappointing aspects about this shitwad of a game. Why am I not using a machine gun, like the front cover? Why am I just fighting snakes and bugs? This is exciting. Doesn't this remind you of the movie? Remember when Rambo has to fight a giant spider? I don't. Eventually, you start to fight appropriate enemies, and you do gain an inventory of weapons, such as flying daggers, arrows, and grenades. Man, who the hell throws grenades at a tiger anyway? You also get a machine gun, but this doesn't happen until much later in the game. The problem may not be that the game doesn't follow the movie, it actually follows the movie way too much. Almost every key scene is recreated through character dialogue, but who cares? It's almost like they focus too much on the story rather than the overall gameplay. When Rambo meets the girl, for the second time in the game, you're given an option. Rather than conducting business, you can say, what do you think of me? The game doesn't advance until you stop asking this, so what's the point? And how cocky can Rambo be to expect a compliment? She could have said, what do I think of you? You look like a hairless gorilla, and when your mouth is open, you really freak me out. There's times when you have to follow her, but all she does is walk back and forth, so you're actually supposed to go meet her somewhere. But where the fuck that is, is up to you to find out. Now, that's the biggest problem of this game, finding out where the hell you're supposed to go. You stand on these little boxes that say N for North and S for South. You push up and then go to the next screen. And it's just like in Friday the 13th where you can change paths, but it's confusing to navigate because everything looks the same. If you keep walking in the same direction, the stage just repeats over and over. Sometimes you think you're making progress, but then you realize that you're doing laps over the same stretch of land. But to make it even more confusing, there's times when in order to advance to the next section of the game, you have to walk in one direction and then go back the same way you came. So it's like if you walk to the right, you could just keep walking right forever. It's an endless cycle. But if you walk to the left, that's when it takes you somewhere different. What a shitload of fucking bullshit. There's also a scene where you control the girl. She can't do anything but walk and there's no fighting involved. All you do basically is just walk from point A to point B. Why? Another thing that blazes my balls is that when you're low on energy, the screen flashes. I guess it's nice to be alerted that you're dying, but it doesn't have to be so fucking annoying. Maybe you say it's nitpicking, but I say it's shitpicking. The controls are mind-blowingly awful. It doesn't look bad, but believe me, it's bad. You can move and jump around just fine, but when it comes to using your weapons, it feels stiff. When you try to attack something, it's almost impossible without getting hit. Getting across this bridge is a real shit, bitch. Damn. Fuck. Alright, come on, you bastard. I'm almost there. Almost there. Fuck! Oh, God. How did they fuck up Rambo this bad? You'd think it wouldn't be that hard. Just a guy in a bandana going around shooting people. Kinda like Contra. 
Yeah, that worked, didn't it? Side scrolling, overhead, or even a semi 3D perspective. It all worked. As long as the control is fluent, the action's good, and the overall gameplay is stimulating, that's all it needs. But instead, we get a confusing, incoherent mess that doesn't even really know what it's trying to be. A needless storyline, confusing navigation, frustrating controls, and a second rate clone of Zelda 2. Though it predated Zelda 2 in its US release, Zelda 2 came out first in Japan. What? What the shit? I'm back at the beginning. How did this happen? I just fell and now I'm back at the beginning of the damn game. I still have my weapons, but I got a long way to make it back to where I came. Murdoch is still telling me the same shit he told me before as if I never started the mission yet. So I guess I just found some crazy glitch. So the only way I'm gonna show you the end of this game is to enter a password. But look at this! Why does the fucking password have to be so damn long? Is it really necessary to have both capital and lowercase letters? As well as numbers, question marks, and exclamation marks too? If you're writing this down, you're gonna get confused. S's look like fives, zeros look like O's, capital and lowercase letters can look identical, and lowercase L's look like ones and uppercase I's. That's something I have no tolerance for. The password system should be simple, straightforward, and easy to use. As long as you know the password, you should be able to enter it and move on. It doesn't need to be a fucking project. Assholes. <sighs> well, so this is it, the end of the game. And they sure saved the hardest part for last. It's just a fucking barrage of shit coming down. It's like you need a bulletproof umbrella. There's no way to dodge this shit, and the only way to hit the copters with grenades. It takes about a million hits, and there's no damage indicator. It doesn't blink or anything when you hit it, so the first time I tried this, I didn't even know the damn things were working. But with patience, you finally win, and then you go back to the hangar, a job well done. And from here on, you can just walk around and talk to people. There's Murdoch, the bastard. Get out your machine gun, you shoot him, and he turns into a frog. Yeah, you shoot Chinese letters, and he turns into a frog. Just what I expected. I think that was enough, but there's more Rambo games, so just for a bullshit bonus, let's take a look at a couple more. Here we have Rambo First Blood Part 2 on the Sega Master System. Now, okay, this is more like it. Starts up with the action right away, you're just going around shooting people, and on top of that, it's two players. We know that this is Rambo, but who's this guy? But anyway, it doesn't matter. The controls are basic. Number one shoots bullets and number two fires exploding arrows. You give them a little number one, you give them a little number two. <laughs> number two. Well, at first it seems like a decent game, but it's also very frustrating because you move incredibly slow, you can't shoot down, and the bullets don't go far. They also look like ping pong balls. The game reminds me of Akari Warriors, and it suffers from the same problems, though the levels are not nearly as monotonous, but one thing that happens is if you die, you can reappear in an obstructive place and get stuck. You're trapped. I mean, there's nothing you can do other than just hope to get hit by enemy fire so you can reappear somewhere else. Another weird thing that happens frequently is that after you come back, you know, when you're in that brief invincible flashing stage, the controls get locked. You can only move left and right. I mean, this seems to happen mostly on the second player for some fucking reason. Other times while you're flashing, you can walk across the water. Who does Rambo think he is? Jesus Christ? Well, let's check out Rambo 3, again, on the Sega Master System. Now, this one's gonna be fun, because it uses the light gun. Unless the fucking thing doesn't work! Uh, it kinda works. I mean, I guess you just gotta wave it around, like Rambo. Rambo never shoots straight. What's wrong with this thing?
piece of shit. Now, with all the Rambo games, I could probably go on for hours, but that's not what it's about. I just wanted to give you a basic overview. Now, it's been about 20 years since these games were out. It's also been about 20 years since the last Rambo movie. Now, I'm psyched to go see Rambo 4. But it's not called Rambo 4, is it? Let's address this title situation one last time. Now back in my chronologically confused video, I was making fun of Rocky VI being called Rocky Balboa, so I made a sarcastic comment. Let's take a look. What are they going to do? Call it John Rambo? And what do they do? That's what they call it. And I feel bad. I feel like I picked on a retard or something. Like, what are you, retarded? Oh, I'm sorry. But then what do they do? They change it again to just Rambo. Like, is this a sequel or a remake? It couldn't get any more confusing. Even though the original movie was called First Blood, people often refer to it as Rambo. But in the second movie, they downgraded First Blood into a subtitle, calling it Rambo First Blood Part 2. But the Nintendo game is just Rambo, as well as the Sega version. Even though the box says the full title, the game itself, and even the title screen, just say Rambo. So technically, the immediate title of the second movie is Rambo. Next came Rambo 3. Technically, it should be Rambo 2 or First Blood Part 3. I mean, there's no consistency, but just for the sake of confusion, it is the third in the series, so whatever. It's Rambo 3. But then comes Rambo. Like, how do you follow Rambo 3 with just Rambo? That doesn't even make any sense. It's like you're going backwards. So now if someone says, I'm watching Rambo, it's like, oh, what do you mean? You mean First Blood? Or do you mean Rambo First Blood Part 2? Or do you mean... Rambo, the fourth movie. That's what it is, the fourth fucking movie. Why could they just call it Rambo 4? One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs>